Most of us are here every day to follow our daily readings and we have been following the growth of the church in spite of oppositions, persecutions, and yet the early Christian and the disciples of Jesus were persistent, consistent, patient, and persevering in carrying out their mission. And yet it was not only, it was not easy for them. There was that external problem of persecution. There was also the internal problem. Like in this situation that we heard from the first reading, some Jews were imposing their traditions to the Gentiles. This is the second half of the Acts of the Apostles. It's focused on Paul, the apostle to the Gentiles. Keeps repeating what God has prophesied through Scripture that all nations are called to belong to His family and they are treated in equal rights as Jews and yet you can see how the Holy Spirit enlightened the early Christian leaders to maintain what was essential what was substantial not what was superficial so Paul emphasized if we are saved we are saved through Jesus the Jews thought that by obeying the laws they'll be saved of course we need to be obedient but it's not our obedience to the law that saves us it is jesus who saves us that's the point of paul in um, uh, dressing the community and also we heard how james who was the bishop at the time of jerusalem tried to settle their internal problem so we can see when we are full of the Spirit, we cannot but move, decide according to the promptings of the Spirit. And so it's important that we always rely not on ourselves but on the action, on the dictates, on the inspiration of the Spirit, especially in making decisions in life. In the Gospel, again, we continue, you know, the teaching of Jesus. This is a continuation of the of his teaching on the parable of the vine and the branches. You know, what you heard this morning is from chapter 15 verses 9 to 11. Three verses. And three times we heard the word remain. If you love me, remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I kept my Father's commandments and remain in His love. Before this, chapter 15, 1 to 8, 8 times, 8 verses. The word remain. If you remain attached to the vine, you will be fruitful. If you don't remain, you will be cast out and be burned. So the idea, the importance of being attached to the source of life to the source of the father's love remember jesus communicates shares with us his love for the father that's why he said if you remain in my love my father and me and myself will remain in you so jesus reminds us how important it is to keep ourselves attached to him to be always united with him so that the love of Jesus which comes from the heart of the Father will flow through us. And what did he say? That your joy may be complete. Yes, we experience joy in this world. But what kind of joy? If we want a joy that is lasting, that, is, that will be fruitful, that will be permanent, it is only by being united with Jesus, remaining in Him, that our joy may be complete. Amen.